Welcome back to Republic. We've just had a meeting with Maddie Sade where she gave me a keycard and sent me on a quest. But before we follow up on that, let's check out this Zager room. The one that smells because of all the fertilizer, I guess. What would you use fertilizer for? Can't you use that to, like, make a bomb or something? I have no idea how you do that. But I think that's a thing, isn't it? Making bombs out of fertilizer or, or something? Some sort of a weapon? Crooked, Maddie said. Mm hmm. Gwyn Derringer. Mm hmm. Trigolazov. Looks like Mirai Predo is right in the middle. I guess he wasn't sure whether to trust her or not. Zager kept lists like this one, to determine where citizens in Metamorphosis stood in case a revolution broke out. I guess I should be relieved he put me on the good side. That would be Derringer's personal office chair. When it went missing, Derringer immediately blamed me. I guess we can close the book on that mystery now. However, the mystery of how Xavier got it through the vent remains unsolved. Yeah, how the hell do you steal an office chair and then shove it through a vent? Without anybody noticing? That is insane. Does it even fit? Like, does it even physically fit? Maybe, but barely. A subject near to Xavier's heart. He wrote about this very issue in the Poisoned Manifesto. As with everything, Zager saw it as a government cover-up in need of undressing. A mysterious illness, the Gulf War Syndrome. Rise among vets. Okay, which ones have I not listened to? Zager here. Now, to all of you budding revolutionaries, I wanted to give a word of advice. The best way to fight fire is with more fire. Why do protests fail? Well, protests fail because the protesters bring knives to a gunfight. Nobody listens to a knife. If you want to get the Prizrak's attention, you need to learn to speak their language. And a charged taser or a full canister of P0 says plenty more than the verse chorus verse of Kumbaya. I mean, what are you going to do? Kill them with kindness? Good luck. A revolt should be revolting. Violence is the only language these men speak, and brutality is their only currency. So. Pay them back with the business end of a taser. Well, they'll feel it in the morning. <laughs> Believe me, I know. I have been tased and pepper sprayed more times than I care to remember. I, I was at a WTO protest once. I got hit in the eyes with so much capsaicin, it melted my <laughs> contacts. It hurts. And that's the point. Because it hurts them, too. Listen. The uprising begins the moment you are willing to fight fire with fire. This is what you have to do. Destiny's online too, so pick up the f phone already. This is Sager telling you not to say peace. Because peace is for chumps. Okay. Sager here. Gonna try a different format tonight. We're gonna... Hey! Sit. No, no, just sit there. It's fine. It's all gonna be fine. All right, we're gonna switch things up a bit, and uh, yours truly is gonna conduct an interview. <clears throat> you may know my first guess from such crimes against humanity as the recalibration of innocent children and the rape and murder of privacy. 
Ladies and gentlemen, please give a big Sega Radio Hour welcome to one of the Ark Prisrac from Terminus Level 2. <laughs> what? I can't understand. What? Oh, right, yeah, sorry. Here. Yeah, sorry about that. It pulls off the skin somehow. Okay, so you're in here, and you're in here. It's a big show, so uh, introduce yourself. What's your name? Come on, come on, say something. What's your name? Your mother. That is a terrible name. Your parents must have been horrible, horrible people. Okay, just stop, stop. It's okay. Hey, hey, it's okay. Dude, seriously, you're embarrassing me. Stop inching away from the mic. I can't hear you when you do that. Okay, my first question for you, sir. Who are the pre-cals? Huh? Are they clones? Some kind of genetic experiment? Triglazon's illegitimate kids? I, what? I don't know. I don't, I don't have any association with the pre-cals. <laughs> no association, huh? That's funny because I caught you red-handed beating up a little boy, and yet you're saying no association. That boy. Yeah, yeah, nine! He stole a uniform. He was armed. He was 95 pounds. He's a scared kid. <sighs> you want to tell me why Derringer and the lot of you are so worried about one of the pre-cals jumping off this little merry-go-round? It's for the protection. <laughs> right? How's that exactly? Huh? <sighs> this is not going well at all. Do you want some coffee? question! <laughs> this is how an interview works. You've got to say things, dummy. Look. I... Did you piss your pants? Oh my god, you did. Okay, well, I guess I won't be borrowing your uniform after all. Please, please stop. Okay, okay please. hang on. Just... <laughs> okay. Uh, well, uh, I think that's about all the time we have for today. Next week we'll do a call-in show. So, Zegar out. Dude, so unprofessional. I think Zegar went off the deep end a little bit there. Jesus Christ. You can always find a crime. That's their motto. That's their mantra. They tattoo it to the inside of their eyelids. You can always find a crime, and it's true. You can find almost anything if you look hard enough. But you know, the one thing you'll never find, no matter how long you search for it, is the end of a good conspiracy. Just when you think you've caught the beast by the tail, you round a corner and discover it just keeps going. It's never ending. It's all tail. And while you're gunning further and further down the rabbit hole, they're watching you. They're waiting for you to slip up, forget to rewind, run a red light, or play your T-Rex bootleg too loud after 10 p.m., which you only did because your ex-wife won't shut up about you not having a square job like all her friends' husbands with their starch white collars and their paisley ties. Carol! But my point is this. You think you're onto them. But they're onto you. You try to track them, follow them, Find out their dirty little business. And that's just an open invitation for them to find out yours. <laughs> so what am I saying? What? What am I saying? Am I saying you shouldn't pay attention? No, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is, be smart. When you tail a suspect, you don't follow too close. If the winds change, they smell you coming up behind them. I'm telling you, you got to be smart if you want to unravel a good conspiracy. So rule number one, don't ask questions, at least not out loud or to anyone that's alive. Rule number two, pretend you don't give a sh**. You see them dump a body in the marsh, act like it's no big thing. And rule number three, rule number three, rules one and two. If you don't ask questions, you'll never learn the truth. And if you look the other way when bad happens, then just get away with it best thing you can do is to make a scene. Make a mess of things. Look like a screw-up. Once they've written you off as a joke, go be smart. You can't break a few eggs without making an omelet. Just don't let them
them know you learned how to cook. This is Zager. And I'm telling you, don't trust anyone. Not even yourself. I have a treat for you today, kids. Today, I have got a book review for you. I think I might have heard this no, one. it's not the manifesto. It's one of the overseer's earlier efforts. It's a little self-help manual from the late 90s with this rather dubious title. Now, here it is. Defrag Your Mind, The Pursuit of Happiness in a Computer Age. I feel like I have. I'm not sure. <laughs> this could be the biggest waste of printed pages ever to burden a bookshelf. I mean, this <laughs> makes Mein Kampf look like Anne of Green <laughs> Gables. Now, on page one, he states, and I'm quoting here, Disorganization is the single greatest... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm pretty sure. Okay. ...threat to the continued existence of modern society. So, not genocide. Not nuclear... Yeah, I think Zager broke inside of here a bit. Alright, so our goal is to use the keycard over here. So I gotta go back the way I came, pretty much. Let's go this way. So we're going back to the lobby. Yeah. This way, right? Mm hmm. There's a lot of people here. All right, kids, you're on the right track. Work your way through there to the server room and mind the Prisrak. They've sworn an oath to protect the Terminus, even though they haven't a clue what it is. Uh, why is it so cold in here? Mark eight. 
data keeps best when chilled. That's why it's so cold in here. It's a place where they store data. was running low. I think this costs 600, so... Yeah. patterns. Clear. I think I'm safe to go here though. Let's go ahead and make sure of that. Let me see his patrol pattern. Yeah, just back and forth. And what about you? Back and forth. Okay. Good, good, good. Do I want to get here? Yes, I can get the book, which I don't really need, but I want it. Then I can go downstairs. In the of a burning kitchen. Okay, let's get over here. No sign of the pre yeah, it goes over far enough that I can hide here, although it's kind of like semi-transparent. Can I actually hide behind it? I hope so. I'm gonna pickpocket him as soon as he turns around. Going in for the steel. Game did I get? V V V V V V is like gazing <laughs> into a prism of video. Uh, I've seen a couple speedruns of that, but I've never played it myself. Love the name though. V -v 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 The Overseer is a glutton for raw data. He's already cleaned his own plate. Now he's eating off yours, mine, and everyone you've ever known. Strong government is built on strong technology, librarian, but you wouldn't know it to read Shelley's Frankenstein. She shuffles dead men's body parts into one nameless hole and then makes it heroic. We cannot allow celebration of a beast so similar to the Internet's Anonymous. One teenage culprit is as good as any other. Capture one, 
and the rest simply find new proxies. Truly, they are the monster made of many parts, but no worry. We will return the world to order. Is this what we're looking for? Good, you're there. That pre-apic metaphor you see in front of you is the Atlantic server. Have your friend access it. Ooh. That is a very large server cluster. And it upgrades my Omni version, nice. Use it. Metamorphosis is so gloomy this time of year. Let's get out and explore the world, shall we? I wonder what the weather's like in David Bowen's hometown of Chattanooga, Tennessee. Select that location on the map. I, I don't know where that is. Where the hell's even... okay. I'm assuming it has to be one that's orange. I don't know crap about geography. This is probably fucking Russia or something. Found it. D did I actually choose the right one? Yay! I guess I got lucky. Oh, whoa, I'm actually looking inside of his home? <gasps> the outside world! There's a tree! Sky! This is... this is strange. Can I help? Uh-uh. No, sir. This is your last home-cooked meal for a while, and you're gonna sit right there and not lift a finger. That, I can do. I hope they feed you decently. Can't have you wasting away on me. I'm sure they'll feed us. Are you worried about me? Always. This is a great opportunity, Les. If it's so great, why didn't Mitchell sign up too? Beth's family is loaded. Mitch doesn't have to take every job comes his way. I'm gonna miss you. I'm making buttermilk pie. You hear what I just said? Yeah, I heard you. That reminds me. When you get to where you're going, check your gray carry-on. I left you a surprise. Did you now? Well, I should warn you. This place I'm going, they have strict rules about contraband. Especially contraband of a pornographic nature. Relax. They're tasteful. <laughs> then I should have no problem smuggling them in. Nice. That could be useful. What else can you find? She is going to have so much fun with all of this... All of this dirt on all these people. Where are you? Once again, I find myself sitting here, alone, talking to a computer with no one on the other side. David. I don't know what to do. I spent $14 on this microphone so that we could talk. 
I don't know where you are. I haven't heard from you in weeks. You said you would be able to call every day. June is having a really rough time at school. And Libby has impetigo. And Dr. Carter says we could get it. If you have a doctor there, please go see him. I don't want you to get anyone else sick. You could be really contagious. And it's worse if you get it as an adult. What in the heck is impetigo? I've never heard of that. Is that even a real thing? Brilliant. Keep searching, you two. Oh, hey, Mitchell. I didn't see your truck outside. David! <laughs> You're, uh... Your wife picked me up on the way home from the supermarket. Uh, I hope you don't mind. I, I took your last beer. <laughs> no, nah, that's all right. Hey, what you got there? Popping pills? <laughs> huh? Oh, right. No. No, Libby's sick. Some kind of infection. Uh, that's a shame. Yeah, she's fine. These things ain't cheap, though. And I find out today they aren't covered by our plan. Pretty much the perfect cap to a <laughs> leak. I don't know if Leslie told you, but... We're pretty upside down on the mortgage. Gotten enough late notices we could wallpaper the living room with them. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Anything I can do? Nah. You've bailed us out enough times. Can't ask you again. There's just no work right now. Oh, man. Hey, what if I told you I might have a job for you? Hey, you're gonna have to travel, but, uh, the pay is real good. You kidding? I'll commute to the moon and back if it means we can save this house. So I took the job out of desperation. You got a nose for this. What else can we grab? Hello? Mitchell? Hey, it's... Leslie. Leslie, yeah. What's up? <laughs> sorry, I... Hey, don't be sorry. What's going on, darling? Um... We're in a lot of trouble. What kind of trouble? I don't know how we're going to be able to buy groceries for the week. David isn't responding to my calls. It's like he dropped off the face of the earth. The check he was supposed to send last Thursday didn't arrive, and now I don't. I don't. Hey, hey, it's, it's all right. We'll figure something out. Anything I can do to repay you. We'll figure something out. Thank you. You've always been such a good friend to David. And me. I'll tell you what. Why don't you, uh, why don't you come over to the house tonight and we'll, uh, make this all okay. Uh oh. I, I thought Beth said you were out of town. Oh, well, yeah, Beth's going to her sister's for the weekend, but, uh, hey, I'll be here. What'd you like for dinner tonight? I'll pick us up something, and I'll get us a bottle. You still drinking Irish gold? Oh, I don't... I mean, I shouldn't. I have to be up early tomorrow. No, 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 no. You, you come over and, uh, and relax and, and have a drink with me. We'll make this okay. Don't you worry, darling. We'll figure this all out. Aw, oh, that Mitchell's such a stand-up guy. Praying on the weak. We're close. Let's find just a bit more. Mom? June? Uh, did we forget how to knock? Sorry. Jeez. Shut the door. Now, let's try that again. Mom, may I please come in? You may. What are you doing? Helping your father pack a suitcase. What did you just stick in there? It's none of your business. Did you finish doing your homework? Yes. Mom. Is Danny joining the cult? Of course not. But this 
boss guy, Treglazar. He sounds like he's running a cult. I'm sure it's not that bad. Do not talk about our fearless leader that way. <laughs> Seriously, Dad? Hey, listen to me, Jimbo. I am not joining a cult. I admit this seems a little weird, but this is a great opportunity for our family. There's a lot of money in this job. It's private security. This is no different than when I went to work at JL National. You remember? That was in Akron, Ohio. This is like halfway around the world. Yeah, it's a little bit further, but we need the money. Don't worry. I don't care one bit about this guy's belief system, and neither should you. If this Treglazov turns out to be as crazy as he looks, I'll just leave. I'll turn around and come right home. I promise. Not that easy. Can't just leave that place. We should have enough to make this Prizrak disappear. Let's conjure a little journalistic magic. We're here to build a case against the Prizrak David Bowen. The full story, replete with scandalous quotes and damning photos. Select some audio or an image to get started. <laughs> what? What the fuck is this? You're the one who runs the newspaper. You want me to write the fucking newspaper? <laughs> what? <laughs> this game makes no fucking sense sometimes. This is so silly. <laughs> it's like they thought, hey, let's just put... We need a minigame. Let's just come up with a minigame that makes no sense. Okay. Done. Alright. If David didn't want his words used against him, he shouldn't have opened his big mouth in the first place. I, I, I don't even know what to say. This is... This is a new low. The, uh, uh, okay. I'll write the newspaper. <clears throat> In the newspaper biz, a story without pictures is a day without sunshine. Let's brighten up this article with a matching photo. Well, hold on. I don't know if I actually want to select that. Then I should have no problem smuggling him in. You could be really contagious. And it's worse if you get it as an adult. Well, I should warn you. This place I'm going, they have strict rules. This boss guy. I don't care one bit about this guy's belief system. And neither should you. If this Treglazov turns out mm. to be as crazy as he looks, I'll just leave. Eh, it doesn't quite have a bite to it. Well, then I should have no problem smuggling him in. That does. What should I suggest he's trying to smuggle? These pictures are so terrible it's hard to tell what the hell they're even looking at. Is that is that a trash can? That's obviously a knife. Pills? Hmm. What even is that? The picture doesn't complement the sound bite well enough, I'm afraid. I, I, what even is that a picture of? Nothing worse than a sharp image of a fuzzy concept. Let's pick the most inc that cock won't fight. You'll need to choose a different photo for the quotation. That cock will fight. That cock is erect and it's ready to smack people in the face. That's worthy of a Pulitzer right there. Let's send this story to print. Okay, I'm a, now I'm a published newspaper writer. Prizrak David Bowen moonlights as vile pornographer. That is the worst picture I've ever seen. That is almost unrecognizable as a camera. Uh, Alright, publish it. Would you care to be credited for this scoop? Sure. Can I... can I change it? I can't even change the name. Credit given where credit's due. David Bowen will see your name atop this article. Provided his eyes aren't swollen shut this time tomorrow. Prizrak David Bowen moonlights as vile pornographer. He should have chosen a different hobby, the deviant. Between you and me, I don't feel comfortable with this. 
Those poor people. Don't be such a pill. We just take what we need and ignore their tales of hardship. At least I do. If you get off on every sordid detail, well, that's your problem. Now, we've got one more server to go. Let's get to the other side of Terminus. I feel like I'm mentally scarred by that experience. That, what, what were they thinking? What were they thinking? Up? What? What were they thinking? I can't comprehend. It's one of those things, you know? It's one of those things that you see and you just think, what were the creators thinking? I don't understand what was going through their head. Ugh. I don't know, but this game tries to build up a believable universe. But then it's things like that that just ruin it. They just utterly shatter any kind of immersion I can have in the story. Hmm, there's a room over there I haven't been inside of, apparently. Wait, where is it? Same floor? Oh, looks like I need to go down those stairs. Actually, I think I have time to go right now. Yeah, let's go. Don't switch cameras. Come on, come on. Oh, made it. Actually, hold on, stay there. Is there a guy down there? No. Is this... what is this? Oh, it's one of these rooms. Mm, she doesn't actually need to come in here. Oh, wait a minute. What's that? Level 3. Ooh. I've just gained level 3 privileges, so maybe I do want to come here. Oh, I've been here before. Yeah, this is near the, um, the headmaster's office, right? I think. Or maybe not. Is it? I think it is. Yeah, it is. So, how do I leave? I can't just go under here, can I? It needs to be reopened. Well, suppose I could reopen it. Do I actually want to come here, though? I really don't want to come here, do I? I mean, what's the point? So maybe a couple of things that I could open that I couldn't open before, but... No, I need to get to the other server room. Let's go back.
equip this sleep mine like any weapon in the girl's inventory. Press the set button to place it where she's standing. When a Prizrak walks over it, it's lights out for the night. Mm. This may come in handy. Cool. Can you access that? This spot looks good. I thought that was a door for some reason. All I did was walk into the wall. Idea. My battery was running low. Okay, let's go back the way I came, I suppose. Sounds like a good idea. If it worked one way, it should work the other. Where does he go? Alright, it's so not far enough for me to actually get around him, so I have to wait. Actually, is this gonna work with that guy's patrol pattern? Because he's gonna turn around. This might not work with his patrol pattern. Yeah. No, that's not gonna work. All right, we gotta go the other way. Well, you know what? This is actually going to work. Equipping taser. Probably stuff over there, but eh, forget it. I see water down there. It occurs to me I don't know how to swim. Hmm. This is very clustered. So many boxes and different layers and things to hide behind. And of course, lots of Prizrak. Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. Yeah, this game is... I don't know, it's on and off for me. Sometimes I'm like, this is pretty cool, and then other times, like, when I'm making the newspaper, it's just utterly ridiculous. I don't know what to make of it. It's very strange. It's very, very strange. 
Alright, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.